Thanks so much for joining me on today's episode on As It Relates to Podcasting. I am your host, Simona, and we are doing a three-part series right now all about monetizing your podcast. So the first episode, we talked all about sponsorship and paid ads, which is everyone's favorite topic when it comes to monetizing your show. Then the second one, we talked a little bit about affiliate marketing, some crowdfunding and live events and a couple different other ways that you can, out of the box ways rather, that you can monetize your show. And in this episode today, we are talking all about the effective strategies for podcast, merch and product sales. So we're diving into the world of podcast, merchandise and product sales today. So if you've ever considered expanding your revenue stream through sales of merch or product, you are in the right place because this is what we're talking about today. Before we go any further, I will share with you that I do have a freebie available for you that's going to recap all of these different strategies that we're talking about over the last few episodes and over the next few episodes as well. And so if you want to grab your copy, you can do so by checking out the link in the episode notes below. And that will give you access to a recap of everything that we're speaking about across this entire series. So I hope you find that helpful and beneficial. And if you do, please reach out to me and let me know. You know how much I love to hear from you and hearing your questions. So yes, please, please, please do that. So, okay, let's get into the conversation today. So the first step in this process is identifying all of the types of merch that you would want to create that resonates with you and your audience. So if you're sensing a theme with all of the content that I've been putting out here for you with this podcast, everything centers around your message and it also centers around your audience and what they're looking for from you. Okay. It's really, really key to keep your audience in mind, especially when you're creating different avenues of revenue stream, because you want them to convert, right? You want people to buy what it is that you're selling. Another thing that you want to consider is your podcast's branding and your listeners. And when it comes to creating the actual merch itself, you want to think about what reflects your podcast's personality, your own personality, your brand, your brand persona. So maybe you have t-shirts, maybe you have mugs, maybe you have stickers, maybe you have some unique products related to your niche. Maybe you do a whole clothing line. Maybe you have shoelaces. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the product is that you create, but you want to make sure that whatever it is, it's aligning to the people that are going to purchase from your podcast. Now, once you have the idea for the merch that you want to offer, it's time to select how you're going to sell it and how you're going to get it out there. So you want to think about the e-commerce platform that makes the most amount of sense for you, for you to showcase and for you to sell your products. So you can use platforms like Shopify or WooCommerce or even some print-on-demand services that are really good as well. The print-on-demand ones are really nice too because you don't actually have to hold any inventory, which is great for you as a creator because you don't have to put out a lot of money in order to get that money back, right? And you want to also make sure that whatever platform you're using is friendly in terms of the purchasing process. So the purchasing process doesn't take overly long and it's fairly easy and simple for people to submit their credit card or pay for whatever it is that they want to pay for. So that's really important too. Now, when it comes to setting up your merch store, you want to make sure that you're investing the time and the effort into creating it and making it visually appealing for the person who lands on it. This is really important. You want to make sure those product listings look good, right? You want to use high quality product images. You want to make sure that your descriptions are on point and you want to make sure that it highlights what the features are and why would they want to buy it and how it benefits them. In your product listings and in your episode descriptions, you want to make sure that you are clearly describing about your product like I was just mentioning, but you also want to make it like fun and engaging so that people are excited to purchase whatever it is that you're selling. Now, once you have all of this different stuff set up, you want to consider how you're going to promote this, right? You want to make sure that you are actually promoting whatever it is that you're creating in terms of merch, because otherwise people will not know about it, right? So use your podcast episodes as an ad platform for you to be able to talk about your merch, to talk about t-shirts or mugs or journals or whatever it is that you're selling and to showcase your merchandise as well. Episode notes are great for different links, which is awesome. And then you want to make sure that you're leveraging like your social media and your newsletter and all that kind of stuff to create a really cohesive plan and a cohesive strategy when it comes to selling your merch. 
Now, you can talk about the different items on your podcast as well and talk about the significance maybe to you and to your audience and why they would want that particular thing. Is it celebrating a huge milestone? That's super, super key as well and can help people draw a different story together and create a story about why and how your product, especially your product supporting your podcast, is going to be beneficial and helpful for them in their life every single day. When you use different things like merch, it creates this sense of like exclusivity with your product, with your brand. It makes it feel more premium. It makes it feel more exciting, more engaging, and just overall like a more luxurious experience. So when you build that sense of exclusivity, it helps people get really excited about what it is that you're launching, what it is that you're dropping. So maybe you're doing like a crew neck sweater line or something like that in conjunction with your podcast and you're only creating 25 pieces, right? That creates exclusivity. People want that brand. And that's how you start to build that brand loyalty and build that following with your show, with your podcast. And that's how you start to build it into something even bigger than it already is. You can also give people different product codes, promo codes, discounts to help them feel more valued and feel just more part of your community. So that's always really great too. And you can do that directly through your e-commerce websites as well to keep that process way, way, way less chaotic and overwhelming for you to manage. And I also want to remind you too, if you're doing something like this, like make sure you're engaging with your audience, right? Ask for their feedback on the merch, on the design ideas, on the concepts, on the creative. These are all things that you can bring your audience along the journey for, and they can be part of that decision-making process. So that way, when you go to launch the product, they already feel like they have weighed in. They got to feel like their opinion was heard, and they're really excited about the piece that you're creating because they had a hand in creating it actively involve people in the decision-making process because that allows them to create that stronger connection and really makes them feel like they're a part of your podcast community in a more significant way. Now, creating merch and all of that stuff for your podcast is not rocket science. You just have to make sure that you are doing your market research, that you are testing with your audience and that you are bringing them along for the ride so that they feel like they're part of your journey overall. And that is really key when it comes to actually selling and actually launching your merch, your merch line, or any other merchandise that you want to create for your show. And it also helps during the promotion process as well and the launch process. So... This episode today is not overly complicated, it is not overly complex, but it is a really important one because I know there are a lot of creators out there that want to create a product line for their podcast. And so I want to encourage you today, if that's you, how do you make it different? How do you make it unique? How do you make it premium? How do you make it something that people actually wanna purchase every single time that they look at it, right? How are you reaching into their hearts and souls and pulling at their heartstrings for them to make that purchasing decision? So I'm going to leave you with this today. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode on the podcast. If you know someone trying to create merch for their podcast as well, or someone who's looking for alternative ways to monetize their show, please be sure to send this series to them. I would be so grateful. And if you're loving what you're hearing, a review of the show goes such a long way for me. I love to hear your thoughts and hear what you're learning and what you're loving. So thank you so much for doing that. You can do that on any platform you're listening, Apple, Spotify, and I'm grateful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. And I will see you on the last part of our four-part series next week.